All righty. I should invite some people first. I am going to take a little while before I release the guppies anyway. Um, I don't like the focus I'm seeing on this. Uh, uh, where's some friends to invite? No you viewers to invite yet. Oh, let's bring somebody on camera. Where's invite friends? There we go. Let's just invite everybody, huh? I'm wondering what happened to Michael McNally. I hope he didn't just pass away. He gets blocked a lot, but he's been gone for several months now. I have to check on him on his on his page. I, I know I sent him a note last month wondering where he was. What? Well, when I was four years old, my grandfather asked me what I wanted for the holidays, and I told him I wanted a fish tank. And I got a five-gallon fish tank that, from Myers Aquarium on Belmont Avenue. Um, and there were guppies in it. I forget what all went in that tank. And when I walked into Abstract Aquarium this afternoon... It was just, boy, that smell and the temperature. It's like, yeah, I haven't smelled that smell in over 40 years. As Abstract Aquarium isn't exactly your standard issue pet store. He's a, he's a fish breeder. He's breeding Epistogrammas, which uh, the Ramarese, and he's breeding uh, Cabensis. Um, it's old. He's old school. It's bringing uh, angelfish and um, the 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 cichlids, the crebensis and the and the epistogrammas, angelfish, bettas, guppies. And apparently, he's ordering stuff for people too. Um, We're going to be selling the starter kit and the beta, the beta, the beta habitats starting now. <laughs> These are available for sale. The guy saved me. You know, he's been in the business about eight years. He said, he said, so he saved me eight years worth of work because he's already got the basics going of what I wanted to have going for the fish and 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 aquarium stuff. Um, and we'll just, you know, start ordering from his catalogs. Uh, and we'll ship from his place. He's, you know, of course, I'm going to have to fix him up with proper shipping oxygen. He doesn't have that. He's just, he's just airbagging. He's just air grabbing a, a bubble of air in the bags. If you're going to ship fish, you need to oxygenate the bags. A new song <laughs> titled With Hardly Any Help from My Friends. <laughs> I Someone important to me got demoted badly this week. And I haven't told her yet. I don't know how I'm going to either. Because I, I really don't know how how important I am to her. But I'm not important enough to her to merit the trauma, the, the aggravation of the friend that she favors here in town. You know, I have to, I have to love and respect everybody because of my religion. But I don't need to tolerate anybody. And I really don't need to uh, trust anybody. 
I don't trust anybody until they prove themselves worthy. Less and less. You know, I've been burned so many times, it's pathetic. Just because I, you know, trust people and loan them money. But it never comes back. And then sometimes they come back and steal from me. Why don't you just put a select invite all button on here, Facebook? Stupid fucks. Had a bad scene with my uh, across the court neighbor and the one on the, on, the, on the front corner. They're both a couple of closet queens. And I went over there, tried to apologize to them for snapping on them. And then they both jumped in my shit. Calling me dude. So that's why I got upset. A couple of, couple of closet queens. Fucking ass blasters. You know, yes, I'm nuts. I'm Tommy Jane Tudor. I'm the rock and, I, I, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the rock and roses witch. Can you say that three times fast? Rock and Roses Witch. And, and you know, I'm, a, I'm an ecosystem engineer. I, 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 I design microhabitats for people and their animals. Rewilding, it's called, I think. I'm, I'm a wild one. And you know the merciless savages are the Europeans. I'm sorry, the the European feudal lords are the merciless savages. These savage societies, they just fought against the colonization, the peace loving people. The I, I, we're going to have a a, a a podcast eventually with uh, the Homo Bay guys. Um, <laughs> I, I call I call Eric the nigger in Nairobi at 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 uh, um A and B and right here it's such a racist as well as positive racism. Indigenous people have a sense of humor. Eric and I have discussed this. He thinks it's funny, uh, and that's that's plenty for me. This is my friend, and 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 he's okay with me referring to him as the nigger in Nairobi because he's really in Homa Bay. And, and and they never, uh, according to him, they never really had that term or that kind of energy between them and the white people, as in America. Uh, the word is meaningless to them. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm 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 working on the on the nomenclature here. So I my family and I are indigenous to Chicago to to, to North America. No, 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 no argument there right? as far as the uh, real definitions of it. But we're the children of I recent immigrants. We are not, we're post-Columbian natives is what we are. We came after the European invasion started. But we're still tribal people uh, who, we're still tribal people. I mean, this is how we, we live, you know, our lifestyles are tribal and um, I'm an unorthodox Jew because I've, um, you know, I'm a rainbow hippie. We, you know, it's all good. And and Rabbi Vinstock encouraged us to to do this too. Was to, you know, he he wanted us to go and celebrate everybody else's holidays with them. Go to their feasts. Go to their prayer services and such. And just always, you know, we're all one people and one God. And we have different ways of honoring God that we should share with each other, not fight over and, you know, force the other people to do it that way. That's not how it's supposed to work.
So let's see how many people actually show up that I invite. Okay, we got through the list. Yay, anybody here? Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Ann, happy day. I suppose we can, we can get to it now, huh? Well, first let's, we got some dwarf Sagittarius for some long reedy plant. There are bugs in there that are not mosquito larvae. There's something something else in there too. Most of it's mosquito larvae. But these guys are gonna go nuts when I release the bag. I think we'll put it right there where it get the afternoon sun. And then we have some of the duckweed and whatever was grown on the bottom of the tank. And a dead guppy. Some snails, oh good. Two dead guppies. <laughs> More snails. Yippee, plenty of snails. Fucking they cool. Give the water a chance to settle down a little bit and clear and stuff that's floating in there, or, you know, things are going to settle. Do, do I thought there were some bottom plants that he gave me, but I guess not. A bunch of dead guppies. But that happens. <laughs> if you've ever taken any college level um, biology courses, um, <laughs> you get kind of inured to death. <laughs> it's like life is a is a sexually transmitted disease with a hundred percent mortality rate, <laughs> and and a lot of lot you know when when critters you know have have a whole mess of uh, whole mess of babies at once, most of them don't make it. <laughs> Yeah, they were so 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 excited about this huge baby sea turtle hatch. It's like, well, okay, how many how many of them are gonna make it past the first three days? <laughs> Not many. That's like snack food. <laughs> All righty.
Well, I guess they're not, well, they're not going into a feeding frenzy over this. Let's see if the little guys are eating. Yep. They're feeding, the little guys are feeding up at the top. I'm going to need to put a sponge filter in there, clear up that water a little bit. So we now have critters in the house. Yay. I haven't had critters in my home. I haven't had fish critters in my home since 1973. God. Well, this fish, fish that helped me, like, be calm when I was a kid. Thank you, whoever was reacted to that. So we're 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 doing it. We're doing it. I, I even without anybody, you know. Everybody fucking abandoned me. Everybody. I don't care. It doesn't matter. My family's coming together. My blood family. And they'll be coming here to use this place as a vacation house when it's too fucking cold and wet up in Wisconsin. This table is not level <laughs> at all. <laughs> I don't even need a level to see that. Well, I have a bunch of other things I need to be doing. So I'm going to cut this off because I need to be using the phone too. Thanks for coming. Happy day. Bye.